Hey guys, in the last video, we learned how to add icons to our extension and we also learned how to add a default HTML on our icon, on our extension. So in this video, we learn how to use CSS and we'll also most probably apply some minor styling's to this. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'll add a link tag and it creates style of CSS. So I'll have to have a style.css file. So let's go ahead, style.css. Now first, I, what I like to do is give some padding to the body or margin maybe. So margin 10 pixel or no, just padding. Okay, then I'll assign a width because right now everything is cramped in a very small space. So let's say 200 pixel. Also, I'll make sure it takes you aligns to the center. So let's say align center. Now let's go ahead and change this. So right now it's a simple text. Let's do it H1 so that it feels a bit bold. Like that. Let's go and see how this looks. Okay, so now it looks a bit more clear. It has more room to breathe. Let's go ahead and change the color for this because in the demo that I showed it had teal. So let's give it a span. And ID can be name. So and put this here. And we'll grab the word by ID and change the color to teal. One of my favorite colors. Okay, so let's go ahead, reload and okay, looks much better now. What will I'm gonna do is I'm also going to add an input field which you have seen earlier. So div maybe give it a class of input and then here input type text name can be name id name input not not nothing very fancy just normal names and we can use this id later on to grab the name here and replace the word here so let's go ahead and reload see how this looks okay we have text field here so yeah the hit for this one guys uh, just a small video to learn how to use css with our extensions in the next video we will add javascript and we will add a functionality where whenever we write something here it changes the word here so yeah the hit for this one stay tuned i'll see you around this video thanks